In this video, we're going to look at an insert statement. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at a table that we have in this demo database. Categories. So select all from categories. I can see that there are two columns in this table. If I want to insert more data, the command is insert into the name of the table. Then you list out the columns. I'm using the arrow key to identify which column I want. And then after that, you put in the values that you want to insert. So we got a one, let's put a two in there. And it's character data, so I'm gonna use a single quote to identify my character data. And then you end your statement with a colon, and that inserts it. Simple as that. Same thing would happen for products, except that we have more columns in products. So for products, I have to insert values into all four columns if they don't allow a null. Now, if they say the word null, that means you can leave them blank. If they say not null, it means you have to put something in there. So when you're first starting up and you want to make a table, you want to see if the table is actually working as intended, quite simply, just put some data in there. It can be any made up data you want. That's a, a simple way to just kind of test your table. And so for each of these, I would go ahead and do the same command. Look at products, I can see you got that. I would copy this, copy and paste, products. Of course, the column names have to change. Product ID and product name. And let's see what else we have. We have product price and category D. Okay, is that all four columns? Yep. Now you will see in some videos or tutorials that you don't have to list out the column names. Um, and that's why I used to teach it long ago. And I would say that you didn't have to do that. But um, students usually have problems when they don't. Not all the time, but just enough that I stop teaching it that way. So I recommend that you always list out the columns. If you don't want to type it out and you're using Manager Studio, it's as easy as dragging over the column listing by just grabbing hold of columns and dragging it. Unfortunately, they didn't include that feature in Azure Dev Studio, so you're kind of stuck typing it. Although you can drag some things over. So I would go ahead and put in, and the square brackets are not necessary. They, they're more decorative in this case. They just identify that this is the name of an object, in this case a column, instead of the name of some data with the single quotes. Okay, so product price, I don't know, uh, $10 even. And then the category, we only have one category, so we'll go ahead and put in category one. And then when we insert it, it doesn't show us any data. We have to select it to see it. So this video has just been covering how you do some basic inserts. And part of uh, assignments when you're making tables is just to check to see if the table holds the data you expected simply by adding some data into it. Thanks for watching.